Welcome to episode number three of the Survey to Go basic training. My name is David and I'm going to be your host. I am one of the scripting managers here in Dublo and today we're going to finish up the screener section of our questionnaire and we're going to do the actual LSM section. So back at our questionnaire we have done the screening part, okay, so all of these questions and we actually have this section, the LSM left the script. Now the LSM is a great example for um, sections of the questionnaire where you need to calculate some segmentation based on points. It can be anything whatsoever. In this case it's a living um, standard measure and we have a multiple selection question. Each um, item that the person has actually is linked to a score which when you calculate that and, at, and sum that up you reach an LSM segment. Now we have the breakdowns of the segments here so LSM 4 starts from 0 to 12, 13 to 53 is LSM 5 and LSM 6, 7, 8 up until 10. So as always we're gonna start by adding the question and then we're gonna configure the actual script. All right, now we added all the questions and now you might have noticed that in addition to just the actual LSM question, I added two additional questions to this survey. I added a numeric LSM score section and an LSM level question. Now these will be used in order to store the calculations and the actual level that was reached. And they're going to be dummy questions that are going to be hidden but for the testing part, I'm going to leave them shown so that when we run it in the emulator, we can actually see and visualize that our calculations was, were done correctly. So the only thing left to do now is to actually go ahead and do the actual LSM calculation. So for that, we have the answers right here, and um, we have the actual scores right here. So essentially the code will look like something like that we'll go to the end script of this question and we're going to do the calculations. So we'll start off by declaring an LSM score variable and we'll set it to zero. And essentially what we're going to do is um, constantly ask if the um, if contains the LSM question if the first answer is contained or is checked we want to add to the LSM score um, 12 points. Alright, and this is because right here I see the 12. So um, TV set is 1, so I add 12. Now instead of doing LSM score equals LSM scores plus 12, I can actually do a shortcut and say that LSM score plus equals 12 and that will do the exact same. So it's just a, a shorter syntax. So after this um, um, code I want to of course add another contains if and this time we're going to do the second one and in this case we're going to do LSM score plus equals and it's going to be 10 so it's like that. Now the rest of the ifs are exactly the same so I've just copy and pasted um, the code and now I have all of this code written for me. So we have all of that and um, now it's time after we've done the calculations to set the score of the dummy question. So we're going to do a set answer of question LSM So we're going to do a set answer 
LSM score and we're going to put in here the LSM score and that's going to save the calculated score into our LSM score question. So now what's left to do is to calculate the different brackets of the LSM by seeing this section and we want to know if it's between 0 and 12, 13 to 53, etc. So for that again we're going to add some code and the code will look like if the LSM score is under or equals 12 we're going to set a new variable and we're going to call it LSM level and it's going to be zero to start with just the default value and if the LSM score is under or equal 12 we're going to set the LSM level to be a 4 and why am I saying it's 4 and not 1? Well because I want the LSM level to reflect the actual LSM according to the script so LSM 4 is 0 to 12 so I'm going to code in the other brackets and here we go so now we have LSM 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 according to the questionnaire so the last thing to do is to actually go ahead and set the LSM level according to the LSM level variable now you might have noticed that the LSM level the answers here they start from LSM 4 so answer number one is LSM4 and L answer number two is LSM5 etc. So what I want to do is in the script when I set the actual answer I'm going to do a set answer of LSM level and I'm going to use LSM, LSM level minus three and what this will do it will set the correct offset between the level that we calculated and the actual index of the question so for example if you subtract from LSM level 4 if you subtract 3 you're going to end up with the first answer and the first answer of LSM level is answer number 4 so now it's time to go ahead and check out if the code that we did runs so to easily check that up I'm gonna right click on the chapter or sorry on the, on the actual question I'll right click and I'll click on start in emulator so the emulator pops up and I'm gonna check a couple of boxes here and I'm gonna click on next so now I see the LSM score was calculated at 60 and I can check if that was correct but I know it is so I'm gonna skip that and next I'm gonna see LSM number 6 was chosen so quick jump to the actual um, questionnaire LSM 6 is 54 to 119 which and we got 60 so we are correct so it seems everything is working perfectly so the only thing left to do now to complete this is to go ahead and mark these questions as dummy variables because otherwise they'll be shown to the actual interviewer so I'm going to go ahead and do that and that's it so we have the LSM completed so thank you for uh, joining me on the uh, um, LSM episode our next episode we're going to actually start and do the main part of the questionnaire so that's going to be exciting um, so I invite you to join me on episode number four thank you and have a great day Ooh.